So, uh, new project right now, changing out my cam angle precision sensor. Uh, I already kind of got into it just, just, just a little bit, but I wanted to take a moment to basically show you guys how to do it. If you're looking, you know, uh, tutorials on how to do this. It's basically, um, at least the location of it's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is take the engine cover off, which is like those two uh, suction clamps. You just pop it up basically on each side off the cover and then you just need you probably don't need an extension this excessive but the swivel definitely helps this is a 10 mil with the swivel 3 8 and a pretty decently long extension just for you know size comparisons it's pretty decently long it's probably like a foot and a half but anyway um the location of it that's the bolt right there but the location is i already pulled the sensor out but i just want to show you guys i can turn my light on real quick right down there you can see this is the sensor right sorry my hands are here so that's the sensor right there that's the bolt hole on the bell housing and then the wire runs up to this connector right here so I'm gonna zoom out for you guys a second. so there is one two three uh three connectors right here in a row it's the third connector that goes to that so he's got to disconnect this, slide it up. I'm guessing I need a pick to get it off the bracket it's on. And then there's also this like little wire management cable thing right down here that uh, I'm guessing I need to use a pick to break open as well just to get the wire free. Then once you have that done, uh, you should be able to you know, remove it and replace it. Why I'm doing this is because I had a no start issue, cranking but not starting. Uh, the other thing I'd recommend changing at the same time if you're already on the way of doing this is this one right here which is your uh canister evap purge valve i believe that's what it's called and this could trigger a check engine light say for like a cap uh, a gas cap i've replaced my gas cap multiple times and the light hasn't gone away and this could also be um causing some of the issues that um a no start you know could cause by having one of these faulty mine's kind of rusty i think this clamps on it but um these are like 50 bucks and you can get them off of like um, HyundaiPartsDeal.com or uh, I think his name Albert. Oh, um, if you can join our group, uh, he'll definitely be in there, and you can you know get parts OEM directly from uh, Korea from him. And then yeah, so that, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm replacing my crank sensor with a OEM, non OEM. It's not from the dealer, but it's. Um, basically OEM qualification and spec. I'm just gonna replace it and should be good. But uh, yeah, that part I'd probably get OEM though, just because um, there's cheaper copies online. I don't know if they're just like non-branded, but still technically manufactured at the same plant. It's just that you're paying for the name brand. But um, found them on eBay that fits like you know Sonatas and uh, Hyundai's, um, you know, just intermittent like or different categories of Hyundai uh, for like you know 20 bucks but I don't know if I trust that because it's you know, $50 normally so I'm, I got the $50 one and I'm gonna be changing that as well unfortunately that hasn't arrived yet so I'm not gonna be doing that today in this video all right so this is my uh, new crank angle position sensor that I'm gonna be using looks like a direct replacement so I just gotta get it installed sorry about the background noise uh, dude's getting it on a dirt bike you know, fine, it's just, I guess I gotta lift it a little bit, but I'm gonna start by disconnecting this connector right here, and then I'm gonna work on getting this wire free down here on this little, um, you know, wire organizer clip thing. So, that was a pretty straightforward, you know, clip down and then pull up. This should just be mounted on like a slider type mechanism. There is a little, um, clip that clips in right there in this little circle right here by my thumb. Not the one by my finger, this one down here by my thumb. So that one clips into a bracket, which I just bent out a little bit towards the firewall. But you can see right there where my tip fingertip is, there's a little hole in the middle of the bracket. 
So if you bend the bracket out towards the firewall and then stick a pick inside there, you can press uh, this little um, button in and then you can just pull up on the connector and it'll come off. It's not that good. Uh, I just gotta work on getting this little cable tie thing back here um, open so I can take the connector out. Basically what I did is on the right hand side of the connector, it's already popped open. This is it with my pick. I just stuck the pick down there and popped it towards the passenger side and it came off. So that, that like again, that's the connector, the little wire organizer cable clip thing. So I'm just gonna put it towards the engine just to like bend it back out of the way a little bit. And then now the sensor, which is right here, oh, right here, is now free. And you can go ahead and just pull it out. So that's the sensor right there. Old, dirty. Hopefully the you know cause of the issues. So once I replace this, should be good. Also, if you guys are wondering, my hood strut gave out, so I am using a stick right here. I am going to be ordering a new hood strut. It's really shitty. I went to go check my oil one day, and the hood just wouldn't pop open. So video coming on that as well. Yeah, I mean, my inconveniences are, you know, your guys' um, information, I guess. So, you know, as I go through these issues, I'll be posting them. And because this is a true first-gen 09, uh, I'll be experiencing these issues before you guys anyway, or if you ever experience them anyway. But uh, I'll have the videos here on how to fix this stuff, just because, you know, this car, compared to other cars, really isn't that hard to work on. It's just time-consuming. All right, so got the new sensor right here. Again, that's the brand I'm using. Feel free to use whatever brand you you feel comfortable with, but um, I think a new one of these OEM are a lot more expensive than that one is, but hopefully that's not just because it's actually necessary to spend that much money on it. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy now. And, uh, so you can see the hole down there a lot more clear right there with the bolt hole on the side. So you just gotta go ahead. I'm gonna line up the sensor first and install the sensor itself. And then I'll work on the connector after. So, try to guide this thing down here. Try not to, like, you know, flick any debris or anything inside there while you're doing this, just because that is a direct hole into your transmission. And, you know, you don't want rocks and shit inside there. So, if you have a dirty engine bay like I do, be careful. So, got that in there now. Uh, go ahead and take your bolt right here. And just go ahead and you know, reach down here. You're going to have to do this by Braille. Because I, I know I can't see it very well. I mean, you guys might be able to see it a little bit better. But, you know, you're pretty much looking at the same angle I'm looking at. And your hand and arm blocks pretty much the entire thing. So, don't drop the screw. Just go ahead and work, you know, slowly at it. Turn it till you can't turn it anymore. And then we'll tighten it up afterwards with the swivel 10 mil and extensions. Like I said, you probably don't need an extension that excessive. But it's really nice for, you know, leverage and grip. That's pretty tight on there. Uh, you can see uh, the bolt is now on top of that. And I just got to basically clip uh, the new wire, this one right here, back into the little organizer. Put it back on top of this uh, this bracket right here. It was clipped down on top of it. It still has the same bracket and everything to clip on. And then you should be good at that part. Um, let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little... Um, time lapse of me doing it all right so 10 mil and extension goes right down there right top. I don't have a torque spec for this so I'm gonna use the German method the good tight I wouldn't do the ugga dugga just because you don't want to break the bolt You know, I was expecting, because I was looking at the diagram for that, I thought that was going to be, like, inside the transmission tunnel, not, you know, like, accessible like it is right there. So, like I said, Hyundai, when they were making this car, they paid their engineers really well so they didn't, you know, shaft the mechanic working on the vehicle. 